All right, everyone, this is going to be a quick video, and this is just a comparison video between a standard flat wick lantern trimmed in a triangle, and the one on the right is my new Aladdin Genie 3. Now, I've run a couple of tanks through both of them. I've had the one on the left for years. I've had the one on the right not so long. But I want to show you a comparison. They say that the Genie 3 or the Aladdin is about six of the lamps on the left. I think it's even more. So you won't be able to see me in this video, but what we're going to do is I'm going to run the lantern on the left up to about its max brightness with the triangle trim, and then I'm going to run the uh, Genie 3 up to its brightness. Now, please remember that both lanterns have been running a few minutes, the Genie for about 10 minutes to get it up to operating temp, and the one on the left also for a few minutes. This just gets the air flowing up through the globes and makes a good vortex form and a good suction. So here we go. I'm going to kill all the lights. It's, the camera's going to act funny, but here we go. Here goes the overhead, and here we go behind us. All right, now as you can see, both lanterns are very dim. I'm going to start with the one on the left, and then I'm going to work the one on the right. You can see that I have the uh, Genie 3 glowing just a little bit, so the mantle's incandescing. So here we go. You won't be able to see me very well, but you may see me in the background. The one on the right is in a triangle trim, as I said. That's for fuel burn, and it's supposed to give a more efficient flame. I prefer the, the flat trim. All right, so here we go. I would turn it up. I've got it down below, and you would go just till you start to see your flame dance like that, and that's where it starts to smoke, so I'd come a hair down, and that's about the max brightness you're going to get out of that. So if you can see me, you probably can't, the camera acts funny, but this is just a good, a good brightness. You could read by it, but it's very dim. It's a, uh, a very yellow light. The camera can't pick that up, but it's very yellow light. Um, now... The Aladdin, on the other hand, has an incandescing mantle. So I'm going to turn this one down, and then we're going to work our genie up. Here we go. I'm going to turn this one back down to below the, just below. This is what you would leave it on if you were leaving, just to let it glow. And I'm going to move it to the side. Now, on our genie, I've already had it running, but here we go. I'm going to turn this one up. I'm going to give it just a moment here to make sure it starts to get hot at about 20%. It's been running several minutes, just to make sure I don't make any black spots. And here we go. Let's turn it up. Here we go. There you go. That's probably running about 80% brightness, but it will get brighter. That is the Genie 3. That's an Aladdin incandescing mantle oil lamp. I think it's at least 10 plus of these flat wick lanterns. And it is just a great lamp. Unbelievable. I'm going to look at the camera and see how that looks behind you. Here's my hand for a comparison. You probably can't see any of that. Here we are. I'm going to pick up this camera just so you can see that you can see around the room. I've got all the lights off. The camera can't even look right at it. I'm going to see if I can get it to focus in. There it goes. It's starting to dim a little bit. There you can see the top of the mantle. That's great. So here we are. I'm going to go back to this other little oil lamp I have sitting beside it. You can see it's still lit, just to show you what it looks like up close on my trim. There we go. So in comparison, it's really not much of a comparison. The Aladdin wins unbelievably, and it's just a great lantern. A little bit more complicated to run, a more complicated lamp, but with a little bit of learning curve, you can run it to great potential. See, I even have this one a little too high. See the smoke coming out the top? It's just a hair too high. You need to go just to where your flame doesn't dance. But the Aladdin dwarfs it by far. So if you have any questions about getting one, feel free to hit me up on YouTube. I'm really enjoying this lamp. A great thing to have around the house in case of power outages. And it does put out a great amount of heat out the top. All right. Y'all have a great one. Weston Al, thanks for watching.